Hey guys, in my last video, we saw how UV registers with IMS network and how it subscribes for the registration event. Now the next step for an UE is to make a voltage call. In this video, we will continue with the same log file and analyze signaling flow of a voltage call. An UE triggers a ammo voltage call by sending invite message to the target UE. This invite message includes all the parameters of the media session that originating UE wants to have. But remember at this stage, originating UE does not know the IP address of the terminating UE. So originating UE has to send this invite message to its SIP proxy, that is CSCF. Once this message is received by CSCF, it checks whether the target UE is reachable or not. If it is so, CSCF sends reply to originating UE by sending message 100 trying and forwards this invite message to the terminating UE. Terminating UE needs to reserve network resources for this session at its end before alerting the user. So terminating UE starts working on resource reservation at its end and sends 183 session progress message to the originating UE to tell that it is working on the resource reservation. In this message, terminating UE tells properties of the media it is going to reserve. After getting 183 session progress message, originating UE first sends the provisional acknowledgement to the terminating UE and then starts working on the resource reservation at its end. Once originating UE finishes reserving resources at its end, it sends update message to terminating UE. Terminating UE returns a 200 OK response for the update message, indicating that all the preconditions for the session have been met. At this point, terminating UE starts alerting user by ringing the mobile. Terminating UE sends 182 ringing message to the originating UE to tell that it has st started ringing the mobile. Originating UE sends provisional acknowledgement for this ringing message. Terminating UE sends OK as an acknowledgement for this provisional act message. When a user at terminating end picks the call, terminating UE sends OK message as an acknowledgement of invite message. Originating UE sends ACK message. This leads to completion of the call. After this, voice call data can be transmitted successfully. Till now we talked about only SIP messages, but one DRB has to be set up at UE side for this voice call data to be transmitted on air interface. Let's talk about creation of that DRB now. PCSCF triggers creation of dedicated EPS bearer by sending AA request message to PCRF. PCRF sends IP CAN session modification to PDN gateway. PDN gateway sends create bearer request to serving gateway. Serving gateway sends create bearer request to MME. MME sends bearer setup request to E node B. Then E node B sets up this DRB at QE by sending RRC connection reconfiguration message. This DRB has QCI1 for voice call data and QCI2 if it is a video call. I talked about these QCI values in my previous videos also. Let's now jump on to log analysis. See in my last video I discussed headers of SIP messages in detail. So in this video I will go through only those headers that are specific to the voltage call. Invite. In this message, UE lists its media capabilities in the form of SDP extensions. SDP means Session Description Protocol. SDP does not deliver media itself, but it is used between endpoints for negotiation of media properties. So here you can see originating UE has included all its media capabilities. Trying. There is nothing important to discuss inside this trying message. RRC connection reconfiguration. Here you can see DRB ID is 3. DRB 1 is used for LT signaling. DRB 2 is used for IMS signaling. And DRB 3 is used for data flow of a voltage call. This voltage call can be audio or video. Here you can see value of QCI is 1. For voice call, value of QCI is 1. And uh, for video call, its value is 2. Session progress message. 
You can see here in this message, Terminating UE has included its media capabilities for negotiation purpose. As I said earlier, update messages sent by Terminating UE after reserving resources for media. Here, UE has included final set of media parameters. 182 ringing. So at this stage, Terminating Mobile has started ringing. Terminating UE sends acknowledgement of PREG when user picks the call and at the same time, it sends acknowledgement of invite message. Originating UE sends ACK message and it completes the Voltic call.